is good y'all it's your boy Ty back here with another video in this video today we are going to be going over all of the new back-to-back -back players that we are going to get in packs today with this set reward being Dennis Rodman now Michael Thompson it did get released as well and we'll just start with him as you guys can see he is a spotlight reward kind of similar to what we got last week not he's not going to be much but there are probably going to be xp challenges with this michael thompson so i'm probably going to do these spotlight challenges but i'm not going to be doing them for michael thompson specifically if that makes sense but what i will say is i'm guessing there's going to be a ton of challenges out with these new cards as well including iggy kenny smith brad bailey howell dennis rodman it and lamar odom so Obviously, if you want Stephen Curry, you're going to, I mean, there's going to be probably a thousand XP challenges for challenge for Dennis Rodman, but we'll see if I would consider locking in Dennis Rodman or not. But let's start off with how I feel about Michael Thomas. Looking at it, he is six foot 10, seven, two wingspan, nine gold badges, 12 on silver. Does have a 33 ball, which obviously hurts him, especially if you have a 33 ball with a 44 speed and a 37 lateral quickness. What are you doing on the basketball court? I just, I don't understand how you can be a, a good player in the game if you don't have speed, don't have lateral quickness, and don't have a three ball. I just don't get what this guy is going to do on the basketball court for not only me, but for anybody in this community. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take a hard pass on this Michael Thompson ever playing for me, but I'll still have to grind him for the XP. Hopping into our next guy here, we do get Ruby Andre Iguodala, small forward power forward, so he's not going to be able to play that shooting guard position. He is 6'6", 20 gold badges, one badge being on bronze. Looking at Iggy here, he does have a 73 three ball, which is about what I expected, to be honest with you. Good driving dunk at an 85, 78 ball handle, 78 speed. I would like to see that be a little bit higher, but he does have a 91 lateral quickness. And when you look at his badges here, finishing wise, he does have acrobat, contact finisher, fancy footwork, relentless finisher, shooting wise. The only shooting badge he has is difficult shot, so that hurts just a little bit. Play wise, he does have ankle breaker and dimer on bronze. Defense wise, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, pick dodger, poker stick, tireless defender. Some very, very, very good defensive badges. I just don't know how much better he is going to be than some of the reward cards we currently have in the game. That's the only thing holding me back because his lateral quickness and speed is very, very good. But if you look at a guy like Doug Christie, Doug Christie is still far and away better than this Andre Iguodala card. But still, with that being said, Andre Iguodala is a decent enough card in NBA 2K21, my team. Hopping into our next card here, we do get Kenny Smith. You know, Kenny, my boy. Can, 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 the, can the website load for me so I can I can I can go crazy with my boy Kenny? All right, good. Now we got Kenny Kenny Smith. Here we go. Six foot three, six six wingspan for Kenny Smith, and we don't have a lot of tall point guards at this time in the game. So six three, honestly, is not that bad. Seventeen gold badges, fifteen on silver, one on bronze, ninety three ball for Kenny. Driving dunk is an 80. I'm already falling in love with this card. I really, really am. 86 ball handle, 88 speed, 85 ladder. Hold up, Kenny Smith. Let's have a quick conversation about how truly elite you might be. No range extender and gold steady shooter. I just don't understand. I guess you can probably apply range extender, but that steady shooter badge does hurt him quite a bit. I still love him, but that hurts a lot. Finishing wise, you guys can see he does have five total finishing badges playmaking wise i don't like his defensive badges either off the initial look obviously playmaking wise does have that needle threader unpluckable si silver dimer downhill quick first step space creator stop and go anti handles go bronze handles for days for now no bailout but the defensive badges is what kills him he has great defensive stats so if you can apply a few defensive badges he is going to need them and the, uh, the the badges that really hurt this card or the lack of range extender, no clamps, no interceptor, none of that, pick dodger, pick pocket. So he's gonna need some badges applied to him if you really want him to be that elite point guard. But no doubt in my mind, I still am going to give Kenny Smith a chance. I think he is going to be one of the best players, one of the best point guards in the game. Hopping right in here to the next card here, we do get Amethyst Bailey Howell. I don't know if it's just me, but I've never really heard of this guy. I think this guy might... Maybe might have played with Bill Russell. I don't really know anything about this card. He is a small forward power forward at six foot seven, 16 gold badges, 11 on silver, three on bronze. He does have an 83 ball 
80 driving dunk, can't handle the ball, 60, 76 speed, 74 lateral quickness. What is this car doing on the court for me? I, I guess I'm just kind of confused. I mean, he's a decent enough shooter, but what is he doing on the court for me? I just, if you have a low, if they, I mean, his speed and lateral quickness aren't that bad. I'm making it sound like it's terrible. He is 6'7". I'm over here making it sound like he's terrible, but he's just not that good of a defender. He's a great rebounder. He's, he has a decent enough three ball and driving dunk. He just can't really play make, can't really defend at that high of a level. I just think there's better players in the game that can do what this card can do. He's not bad though. If you look at his finishing badges, he has a ton of them. Shooting wise, he's really got what he needs. And then on the defense end, he does have that gold intimidator, silver clamp, silver post move lockdown trapper. But my biggest thing here is we're going to see a lot of cards like this card. So I don't think this card is anything to, to really like be like, wow, I need this card. He's just he's just there. I, I personally am not excited at all for this Bailey Howell card. We're going to skip over Rodman because he is the lock-in, so I want to do him last. The next card we do get here is Isaiah Thomas. Three Hall of Famers, 27 gold badges, and one on silver. Six foot one, six four wingspan. You already know what Zeke is going to give you. 76 three-bow, but a very good mid-range jump shot. 65 driving dunk, so he is going to be able to jump dunk. 96 ball handle, 94 speed, 94 speed with ball, 94 acceleration with a 90 lateral quickness. Oh my lord. Five finishing badges on gold. I'm looking at his shooting badges, he does have gold corner specialist, difficult shots, silver catch and shoot. Hopping right into his playmaking badges, uh, Hall of Fame dimer, floor general, and tie handles. And here's the thing if you put Hall of Fame dimer and floor general on a card, that is exponentially increases the, sh the shots off of Zeke's pass. So if you're in five out, throw a pass to Mikan in the corner, for example, the dimer boost plus the floor general boost is going to have a great increase on the amount of shots that guy's going to make. But just look at the, the playmaking badges on the Zeke card. He has basically everything that you would look for. Defense-wise, clamps, interceptor, pick dodger, pickpocket, and tireless defender. As far as a complete point guard standpoint, he is, he is up there. I don't know if he's better than a Bob Cousy, but he is definitely up there. And the only thing that really hurts this card is, is, is he only has a six, 76 three ball. But with the coach and shoe, you can get that into the low to mid 80s. I'm super, super excited about this Z card and what he can give me personally on the basketball court. Hopping into the next card here, I already know. Lamar Odom is a card that I am going to absolutely love. 6'10", 6'11", wingspan, small four, power forward. He does have two Hall of Famers, 11 gold badges, 17 on silver with one on bronze, 79 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 78 ball under, 81 speed, 81 lap. This card reminds me of the Diamond Lamar Odom we got last year. Although the Diamond Lamar Odom we got last year, we had to wait a while for. But the, the, the Diamond Lamar Odom we got last year was more complete as far as badges are concerned. But remember, you can always apply badges as well. He lists Lamar as consistent finisher and pro touch on Hall of Fame as well as five gold badges and six silver finishing badges shooting wise does have catch and shoot green machine hot zone hunter and ice and veins on gold with silver corner specialist pick and popper pump fake maestro with bronze difficult shots playmaker wise bailout flash pass on gold silver break starting to do this i would just like to see a few more playmaking badges defensive wise chase down artist off ball pass pick dodging trapper but like where's the interceptor pickpocket rim protector tyler's defender you know, clamps. Those are the stuffs. Uh, those are the badges we need out of Lamar. Now, I don't know. I'm guessing he has about five open badge slots. But if you only have five range extender, you know, clamps. There's still going to be badges he is missing that I would really like this card to have. I'm guessing he's going to have that Lamarcus Aldridge release, which is going to be very, very good. Probably that same behind the. Where's the behind the back? Moving behind the back. Profile behind the back, which we know how good the profile behind the back always is. Default swing lead package, which I personally like, and then. So we've got all these cards. And then you can lock in these cards minus Michael Thompson for Diamond Dennis Schrodman. And we'll see how Dennis Schrodman is here. Why is he a lock in reward? I'm confused. I, I, I'm confused right now. I, I, I've never been more confused in my life. If you lock in for this Dennis Rodman card, I need you need help. I need answers for why you're locking in for this card. What is he doing for you? I get you can apply all these badges, but you don't want to apply badges and spend spend MT on badges at this point in the game for this Dennis Rodman card. He's got a 62 three ball, 80 driving dunk, can't even handle the ball, 78 speed, 83 lateral. This card isn't even the best card in the set. I get he has these defensive badges. He's going to be a good defender, but he's not even the best card in the set. 
and he can't shoot. What is Dennis Rodman doing on the court for anybody? He can't shoot. He he can't dribble. He can he can defend at a decent level, but it's not even like he's got a high speed rating. Absolutely, do not lock in this Dennis Rodman card under any circumstance. He is absolutely not worth it. Guys, that is going to wrap it up for my breakdown of the new back-to-back -back players that we did get today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop your comment on which of you, which of the players are your favorite. Honestly, my favorites are Lamar Odom. No, actually, my favorite is probably Isaiah Thomas. My least favorite here is obviously that Dennis Ryman card. I think he is going to be absolutely terrible. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.